is going on guys welcome to another scary video and we're gonna be playing the hospital I can't remember where I got this from but I'll put in the link in the description all right I'm gonna quit talking and we're gonna do this new let's see do the options real quick uh kind of brighten this up okay anyway all right let's do this Best experience of duh. Headphones, of course. Trucks. What? What? Oh, I, I done did that. Eh, eh, eh. I'm playing. No, we want about right there. That should be good. Can't. I mean, it's gotta be like some kind of dark. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh, I'm in a hospital bed. Can I look? Hello? When the virus got me, I was hoping I would be among the majority who could only get mild symptoms and recover quickly, but my condition grew worse day by day. I checked into the hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get a private room, and I was lucky that they managed to find one. There are no vacant rooms in hospitals across the country as the pandemic was epic. Oh, God. It's a pandemonium out there. So many sick, so many dying. I feel like I've become a number, a statistic. I think I'm growing sicker. I feel faint and weak all the time. Oh god. Yesterday at night, they had to increase my oxygen intake. I heard them talking about having to put me under to intubate, intubate me if my condition worsens. Incubate, probably. Is what, I think. what if I don't make it? It would be horrible way to die alone in this room. I was never believer in God or heaven or hell. I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I've never really stopped to think about it. So now I guess that I was too busy living life and chasing shadows to think about death. This is a lot. I'm feeling weak so weak. I think I'll sleep now. I can barely breathe. Oh, and I'm slowly fading to sleep. This is not gonna be good. I have a feeling. <laughs> I have a feeling about all these games like this. I kind of know what I'm getting. What? Why am I just stop? I'm up. How am I up on my feet? Can't remember getting out of bed. Can't walk around using uh, WSD. With your mouse observes surroundings and clicking objects in the world. Can't the game settings automatically? You do not need to save the game to resume where you left off. Oh. Okay. Chairs. Chairs for visitors. Except being in quarantine, I had no. <gasps> Is this about you know what that I probably can't say because of YouTube? I heard that if you say it, you know. It's, anyway, we all know what's you know. We all know what we're talking about. Oh, what? Why is the bathroom door locked? I gotta use it. Is it a medical device? Okay. Silent. I remember the doctor and nurses hooking me up to this thing. It's in the urinal, weeping the hiss of pumping oxygen. It's one of those terrifying things in the hospital. All the machines whose its purpose. You don't know. Okay. Can I leave? Okay. The music happened before it happened, so I, I had one. I wasn't that scared. Maybe a doctor and you find out what's going on. The music happened, and then he happened. It happened, whatever. Where's everybody? When I checked in here, these corridors were full of activity all day and night, filled with nurses and doctors and patients. And there's no one here. I'm not gonna bother looking at that. There's no one here. Where, where are we supposed to go? There's a station. When I checked in here, I was struggling to breathe. There were two harried, but kindly nurses sitting behind the desk and answering calls when the papers were coming. They sure had their hands full. Okay, so every little thing is gonna have some dialogue, which is, is cool, but I don't wanna click every single thing, you know? I, no luck. Didn't these doors go open out to the lobby with elevators? That way, that would have been my way out, except it looks like I can't leave this way. 
I should probably find another way out. Oh god. Hello. Um you look like a ghost. You don't look like any kind of doctor or nurse. I think we gotta go this way. Oh yep, yeah, because some doors are open. Whew, is she gonna jump scare me? She's gonna jump scare me. Mm, I don't like this. Something's gonna happen. It's just so ominous. Are these patient wards? Why are they deserted? There's gotta be someone, a nurse, a doctor, who can help me and tell me what's going on. There seems to be nobody, buddy. I can't seem to run, so that's that's another bad thing. Oh, what? Someone's on the other side of the door. Hello? Oh god, why did I go in? Why did I go in? There's blood. This room just looks like the one I was in, but it's a mess. Awful, there's some kind of stain. I guess the bed wasn't clean after the last patient departed. Okay. That figure. Oh no. Nope, nope, nope. We're not going out there. Oh my god, no way. The figure I saw on the TV. It reminded me of. But it can't be. It must be. I'm not just imagining anything. Maybe that's what this whole thing is. Some lucid dream I'm having while my body lies in some kind of coma. Ooh. There's no context to what you're talking about. Hopefully, we find out what's going on. supposed to be doing I want to take that for protection can't I'm following this lady for some reason oh there is a door open <gasps> it's a dead body oh god Lock. Shut the door. Is that corpse in there? This is a dream is growing increasingly disturbing. Oh yes it is, my good friend. Yes it is. We're just gonna keep going. Yeah, yeah. Someone toying with me. Am I being led? The figure I saw. I don't know. Who is it? Oh hello. You kinda not scary anymore. It can't be her. This is a dream, a nightmare rather, in which I'm trapped. How can it be her? Ooh, it's her. Did somebody you kill? Did you kill somebody? No, thank you. No, thank you. this place the furniture and the way they arranged this looks like the apartment where he where we used to live except everything looks abandoned right there. there's something on the table there. oh god hello. hello can't be can't be her I can see her face but I can't see her anywhere how is this possible she's been dead for four years Nia, is that you? What? This isn't real, I'm dreaming. Ne Who's Nia? That familiar silence. This is some monster's dream. Memories of those horrific events of four years ago are coming back to me. The doubt and the guilt that have haunted me. Could I have saved her life I, had I done things differently? I couldn't save. I couldn't have saved you, Nia. Sorry for what happened. Only cold silence. What is she? Oh, God. 
I knew it was coming, <laughs> but it got me anyway. Am I going crazy? Or is this some fever dream? See, but I don't know, man. I was wasting away on the hospital bed. I don't know, okay? This is clearly a messed up dream, probably. Or maybe you're just... Why are her eyes black? <sighs> I remember th this is a lot of dagger reading for a horror game. I remember this picture. He had taken it out by the beach just after he had another bit of fight. She was just 24, but then by then she had already begun to show increasingly frightening signs of the mental illness that would assume her erratic violent shifts in temperament. Brooding silence is fixed. Stairs, an obsession with my whereabouts, self harm. I tried to get her to get help, she refused. When it was clear that she was becoming a danger to both of us, I ended the relationship. Then it got worse, a lot worse. The phone calls, the stalking, the threats. And finally, I woke up one night to her standing over my bed, staring at me. Her dark eyes, empty and unreadable, the mouth stretched in a chilling grin. And when I saw she was holding in her hand, Oh god, come on. So basically, you're just reliving this? This is... different. And creepy, kind of. What is this place? I don't know what this place is, dude. She had to, like, signed her into a hospital or something. Instead of, uh, you know, just leaving like that. Okay, I, I'm just gonna assume all the doors are locked and, and, until it shows that they're open. So, I think we'll be okay. There's a dead body there. Hello? Fox. Who would abandon a dead body here? Stench here is terrible. I should move on. Yes, you should. Okay, I just wanted to look around. Doesn't budge. So it's one of these doors, okay. I'm really confused. Oh, oh god! She's toying with me, oh my god. <laughs> I didn't expect, oh my goodness. Four dead bodies. Lovely. That one's got blood on it. Uh, don't laugh like that. Okay, let's keep going. Alright. There she is again. So are we supposed to go in there? Oh, okay. She was holding a knife. Gotcha. As I watched, she raised it. And held it to her th own throat, she said. I don't want to leave. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Of course she could hurt herself. I leaped at her, grappling her, subdued her till the authorities arrived. They put her away in an institute and mental hospital. And a week later, I got that terrible call that she ended her own life. That's horrible. It's very horrible. Oh my god. That's what happened, huh? It's horrible, man. When did you do it? When did you have to go? They told me that I wrote on the note. <laughs> Clearly, you're back from the dead and you want revenge. I did what I could. Why are you tormenting me? Well, you could have, like, made her get help, you know? I understand, but. Is she gonna come after me? Hey. Nia, what do you want from me? Think of that note you left, the last words you ever wrote. Where were they? Oh god. You wrote, I'm never going to let you go. I know those words were meant for me. Is that what you, so what, is that what this is about? That if I had done things differently, perhaps been more compassionate, you might still be alive. She's gonna be right here, ain't she? Oh my god!
<laughs> oh my gosh, you just ran at me. Back in my room. How did I get here? Yeah. Am I supposed to leave again? Oh god, is this gonna be like a loop de loop? Do I dare go out there? What will I find? A busting hospital smiling faces tell me I'm better and I can go home? Or shadowy halls haunted by my past? Am I in a coma, trapped in a body that is wasting away while I suffer the dream born of guilt? Or am I dead and this is my afterlife? These dread holes, tormented souls stalking me for all eternity. Is that it? That was it? The end! Wow, that was a very, very dark and sad game. That was... Oh god. Something else. Uh, very sad. Yeah, if you if you ever you know feel mentally ill or know somebody mentally ill, try to get them help as best you can. Unless they start doing creepy stuff like that, then you really need to get them help. <sighs> that was whew. Anyway, I hope you, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button. It really does help me a lot. And if you're new here, the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.